You're the only one of these fools that I trust. Where's your money? It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Będzie to poczta tutaj. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You mm -hmm. take the reins a little. Just from the Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Give him a switch. This. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no, keep trying. Będzie za sąska coś czuję.
Nikt nas nie śledzi, nie? Póki co. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Rowan Oak a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, Mr. Kill him. Oh, cool enough. Oh, I'm going oh, no. oh, no. to oh, It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Why are you going so slow? Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Say hi to your mother. How 
was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Cóż to za telegram może być? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, Stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. And we should bring in your chest, huh? Zobaczymy. Abigail. Opuściła nas? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. 
Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Gdzie my mamy iść? A z drugiej strony. Parę miesięcy później. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Rewolwer Kettleman, należący do Johna Marsona, wykończony oksydowaną na czarno stalą i skościanym uchwytem wiele lat, które jego właściciel spędził na ścieżce bandyty, odcisnęły się na tej broni wyraźnym śladem. Umieści sześć nabojów i może korzystać z amunicji zwykłej zwykłej szybkiej dumdumy ekspresji wybuchowej. Gdzie my mamy jechać? No to jest pytanie, bo są dwie misje. Uh, Unseal Atleton. Drugi. A tutaj jest Sadie Adler. I najpierw pojedziemy sobie tutaj. Może. A jestem ciekawy jednej rzeczy. Czy my możemy zrobić obóz? I może szybko podróżą, co? Użyj szybkiej podróży, ale najpierw sprawdźmy gdzie. Do Blackwater. Ok. Blackwater. Chociaż może po drodze coś by się mogło wydarzyć. Górka wodna. John dostaje telegram od Sydney Adler. Macierzyństwo. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Co się dzieje? Nie mogę się ruszyć. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. 
So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. You're a good girl now. Okay, to gdzie nas teraz prowadzi droga tutaj. O, chwila. Beaches Hub sudzicy lokatorzy, których może trzeba będzie wyprowadzić. A nie tylko czy z użyciem broni, czy po dobroci uda się ich pozbyć. A tam dacz z ekipą. Nie, ale chyba aż tak to nie będzie. Swoją <grym> drogą ciekawe co się z nimi stało. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Daj pieniądze za straż. A może ich przekona kasa. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <coughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Domek ciasny, ale własny. Man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, 
I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. It's a lumbago. It's a... Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Follow me. Where are we heading? West. West. Oh, I ain't even a man of few words. Oh, God, wait for old uncle. Don't run off anymore, okay? Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. West. Oh, God, I ain't even a man of few words. I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. 
She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Część druga Beach Hope. No, powoli zaczyna to jakoś wyglądać. Dom szlachty. Czy on musi obejrzeć bicze skopi i przesiedlić nie, nielegalnych mieszkańców, zanim kupi ziemię? W Blackwater wpada na strego przyjaciela. No dobrze, to na tym zadaniu zakończę e, na razie nagrywanie. Następne misje będziemy robić już niebawem, także dzięki, że tu byliście i zapraszam ponownie. Cześć.